In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add stunning glowing effects like this one to any image. The resources are linked below and let's get started. Download this image from the resource pack and the first thing we're going to do is select all of the butterflies. You can do this with any method you prefer, but what I'm going to do is grab the object selection tool, click and drag the first butterfly, and we just have our selection. Hold down shift to add to your selections. We want all the butterflies in one layer and repeat with all the other ones. Now, if you see that your selection tool cannot detect some of the butterflies, you can simply change to another tool. Again, holding down shift, add to your selection. Once we have that done, we can now zoom in and try to get the finer details from each butterfly. So as you can see, I got a bit of her hair. To remove from a selection, we just hold down Alt or Option and just go over that particular area. Once we're done with our selection tools, we can hit Q on our keyboard using the white brush, bring some of the areas back and using the black brush, we're going to remove from our selection. So right click, get a rather soft brush, adjust your size and using the white color, I'm just going to bring in these spots that Photoshop couldn't detect. You can easily switch between the colors by hitting X on your keyboard and that way you can make the process a lot faster. So I have everything selected now. One thing to keep in mind is that we only want the areas that we want the glow effect on. So in my case, I excluded the body of the butterfly and only kept their wings because you don't want the body to be shining. You can also use the pen tool or any other selection method you prefer. I just find that going in and cleaning things up with your brush gives you a better result. Once you're done, hit Q on your keyboard again and hit Command or Control J to make a duplicate. Let's call this Butterflies. What we're going to do is change the blend mode of this into Linear Dodge Add and you can see immediately it makes everything brighter. So this is what we got right now and then we're just going to lower the fill just so we have a brighter base, nothing too intense at the moment. Duplicate the same layer with Command or Control J. Turn this to soft light, bring the fill back, and we're gonna start adding on some blur effects. So before I do that, I'm gonna switch this to a smart object. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Start with a small number, nothing too intense. Something like five. Click OK, duplicate the layer. Then double click on Gaussian Blur to increase this to say 20 or so. Duplicate it one more time. Let's go to maybe 50. And one last time. Maybe around 90 or so. So gradually we went from 5 to 90. Now I'm going to change the blend mode so that we get more of a glow, so lighter color. You can see how that adds a little softness to it. So slowly you can see that forming. If you turn this to lighter color and saw that it's way too intense, you can always go ahead and lower the fill or change it back to soft light. It's really something you've got to play around with. Once we have all our glow, we're going to hit Hold down shift and grab all the butterfly layers, command or control G to make a group. So before, after. Now we're going to add some coloring to this to make things 
a little bit more magical. Go to your adjustment layer, hue and saturation, clip it to this group. Using the first slider, we can add any color that we want. So I want to go for a bluish color. I think I'll keep it here. And now we can go ahead and add some sort of glow to the skin of the subject. So the butterflies are now all glowy, they're all nice, but we want it to look realistic. So before I do that, I'm going to go on this one and bring back, go to linear dodge instead and lower the fill. This looks better for me. Okay, so underneath your butterfly layers, your group, make a new layer by clicking that button. Grab your brush, soft round, hardness to zero, adjust your size, and better yet, I think we can do a duplicate of our original image, call this glow. Once we have our smart object, go to image, adjustments, view saturation. Just drag this until you have a similar blue color underneath and choose colorize. So this right now is purple. I want something of that sort. Click OK and then we're going to add another effect that's just going to brighten up everything. So go for brightness and contrast, increase the brightness and then lower the contrast. So it looks a bit weird right now, but we're going to use this to kind of shade underneath the butterflies. Hold down Alter Option and then click on the mask. You can see everything's black here. So we're going to slowly introduce the glow using our brush or hitting B. Increase the size, lower the flow up here. Make sure that it's soft round with zero hardness and just begin introducing those colors underneath where the butterfly is supposed to be with the color white of course so you can see it looks like that if you saw that the colors don't match which doesn't in our case we made this into a smart object so we can double click on hue and saturation and try to change it until we get a nicer color okay that looks better let's go into anywhere else that needs to glow. If you're at a spot where the glow should be less, you can use a lower flow to just go over, go over the fingers. So the more you click, the more you're going to introduce. Use that to just color in the finger. And then I'm just going to change the blend mode of that into screen. Later on, I'll come to adjust the opacity, but for now, this is good. So same thing here, just repeat, use lesser clicks if you want something subtle, and then one click or so to get a lighter effect. Try to focus on the areas where you see the highlights of the original picture. So her knuckle there needs more highlights compared to the darker areas. Then of course we have the face. Try to follow her highlighter in a sense and then go underneath the butterfly. The bigger your brush is, the more natural that glow is going to be. So just adjust the size of your brush and continue heading on to that glow. So now that I have my glow effect. I'm just going to switch my color to black by hitting X and then slowly removing the areas where I perhaps added too much glow. So this kind of creates a softer removal process rather than just going in and erasing everything. Okay, once we have our glow, you can go ahead and change the fill. And there we have it. So this is what we had before. This is after. Now to make the glow stand out even more, we're going to have to work with the base image. Once again, I'm going to convert this into a smart object. Then using the effects here, try to make the image darker and more vibrant. So start with the vibrancy, then the curves. And you can see how by doing this, the glow is popping up even more.
One last effect is color lookup, which is going to add an overall filter to the entire image. So there are the adjustments that I made. If you want to make one subtle, just go on this icon on the right, double click, and you're able to lower the opacity or change the blend mode. I will lower this to around 43%. Same thing with the curves. And there we have it. So we have the glow, we have the image changed. One last thing that I do want to add is some dust particles around the butterflies to add on to that magical effect. Download this from your resource pack and put it right above everything else. You could use an image like this, dust particles, actual glitter, anything that works. The whole point is to have little white dots so that we can use it to add some sort of magical dust effect. What we're going to do first is make a copy of the top part only. We don't want the uh, mountains. Or better yet, only the areas where we have a darker background. So we can't really use this bit. Command or Control J after you made your selection. And I will grab another part like this. Once you're done, delete that original image and you should be left with two boxes that we can kind of duplicate and manipulate for our butterflies. Let's hide that layer and work with the first butterfly. So all you really have to do is change the blend mode by using blending options, then removing the black. And just like that, we just have these little white dots around our butterfly. Now to make it a little bit more appealing, we can change the blend mode to screen. This will get rid of the little black areas that we weren't able to remove and leaves us with the whites only. Now we can't really have the stars to be perfectly in focus. So what we're going to do is blur it just a tiny bit, maybe around two pixels. Click OK. As we did with the butterflies, we're going to make a duplicate, change the blend mode to linear dodge, and keep adding to the Gaussian blur until we're happy with the cloak. We got four. And then finally, I'm just going to use one more. I will add around 20-ish. Once we're done, we can go ahead and mess around with the blending modes until we get something we like. So I will turn one of them into soft light. Once we're done, we're going to grab all three layer twos. Let's call it particle one. Then we're going to hold down alter option, click on the layer mask, low to 100. We're going to introduce little parts from our layer just like that. Now you can either copy the particle one and place it here or use some sort of manipulations to make it a little different. So to show you what I mean, I think I'll just use one of the particles for now. Duplicate your particles, command or control T, move it onto another butterfly, let's say this one. And just to make things a little different, we're gonna hit Command or Control T again. Then we can use something like Distort, flip it the other way, anything that works really. So that's what it looks like. We can go ahead and close that layer and just add on more particles. Duplicate, move it to the areas. And since we have masking around each one, we can use it to change the placement of the particles. So if it's too many particles for one butterfly, we can mess around with that. You put one in between, make it bigger. And then one last one. There are the particles. I'll make one more group just to make things a little bit organized and just bring this below the butterflies, leaving us with something like this.
Now I'm just going back and messing around with the blur, especially the areas that are closer to the camera. Those need to be blurred out a little bit more than the ones closer to the subject's face. To finish this off, I will add one last color lookup on top of everything to bring it all together. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments what other Photoshop effects you'd like to learn. Stay glowing and I'll see you soon.